welcome to Feed Dump, where this week we are the huge fuck off spider that we just found while setting up the set. It was like this big, it was the size of a Kaiser roll. It ate birds for breakfast. Joining me this week is Surge. I tried to catch it. I failed. And Ash. Spider spiders everywhere, spider spiders in my hair, spider spiders eating me to death. Why did I sing this song? Spiders. It's time for a guessing game. Surge and Ash try and figure out what, what Kathleen's Oh god, about. there's a spider again! Oh, I'm, I'm on it. What knocked out power to 45,000 customers in San Francisco this week? A giant spider? That one? Some kind of tech company's publicity stunt. Like that thing they did with all the bouncy balls, like the 300,000 bouncy balls going... You've seen the video, watch the video, like Google it. Well, if the temperature there is anything like the temperature here, I'm gonna guess it was everyone in the city turning on their air conditioners in complete unison. No, 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 it's so hot the power lines melted. Yeah, actually guys, I just checked my weather app and it's actually like 60 degrees with a chance of fog in San Francisco right now, it's quite mild. Oh, it was totally the leper pirates from the fog that knocked out the power. Leper pirates? Really, Ash? I didn't write the movie, I just watched it like 16 times while I ate pizza all weekend. Whatever! My life is awesome! Wrong, wrong end. Wrong, how, really the fog? That many, okay, fine. Anyhow, according to a statement from the Pacific Gas and Electric Company, what happened was a squirrel impacted operations at the El Cerrito substation on Monday. I don't know what that means, but I bet when you drove by, you smelled squirrel flambe. You know, I hear that's a delicacy in San Francisco. Yeah, some hipster's gonna put that squirrel on toast and sell it for like $16. So what exactly does impacted mean? Is it like one of those cartoon shows where the zany squirrel breaks into the electrical company and unplugs something and goes, ha, 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 and runs away? All cheeky, please? No, that's power company coy speak for we don't want to talk about how a charismatic, fuzzy-tailed, adorable tree thing caught fire and died a horrible grisly death. No way guys, the squirrel didn't die. If there's no body, they didn't catch it. This squirrel's actually an eco-terrorist superhero in and out. Just watch, watch the news man, you'll see. Shut the fuck up, Mulder. A Connecticut man was forced to call 911 after his cat got so aggressive and scary that him and his wife were afraid to go in their home. Yep, that seems reasonable. Cats are little balls of evil, where's the joke? No! Cats are sweet, fluffy, cuddly balls of purrs and love and fur. And they're like, meow, meow, meow. Uh-uh, no, look, okay. Perfect example of why dogs are good and cats are evil. If they became the size of your car, your dog would still love you. Buster? Yes, he would. My biggest problem would be his snoring. Mm-hmm. A cat, if it became the size of your car, it would break your legs, it would toy for you for a bit, and ultimately it would eat you. It would bring you half dead to some other larger beast as a gift. <laughs> um, that's not true at all. Maybe neither of you have seen all of those YouTube videos of leopards and lions who are like, yay, my trainer, and they're like cuddling them and snuggling just like little cats. But maybe you just can't appreciate what is good and beautiful and cat-shaped in life. So next story, I guess, something gross. How about this? A woman in Fort Lauderdale thought her toilet was clogged, but it turned out to be a giant iguana. How's that for you? Aw, iguanas are so cute. Bellies. I'm going to find that spider and then I'm going to put it in your purse, Ash. That's fair. Of all the words I thought you were gonna say, I'm so happy you said iguana. Yeah, I'm really glad that she said iguana and it... Wait, what? How? I just have this mental picture of this poor woman sitting down on a toilet and then like, ah, surprise iguana. <laughs> like, oh God, no. Nobody expects the surprise iguana. And I'm not even saying that as a Monty Python reference. I'm saying that if I was sitting on a toilet, doing my business and minding my own business, doing my business, the last thing I would expect to leap out of the bowl at me was an iguana. Which makes it the perfect idea for a horror movie. Yeah, that sounds way better than the fog. Shut up, Serge. Oh. According to the plumber that extracted the iguana from the toilet, he thinks it came in through a rooftop vent and then got lost and fell in by accident, which means the last thing that the iguana expected was surprise iguana. And sadly, because the iguana did not survive this ordeal, it really was the last thing it expected. What the hell, Kathleen? What's with all the dead animal stories today? Did that murder cat from the police thing die too? God. No. The cat is fine, and it was only mad because it had a kitten, and the kitten is fine too. Yay. 
I picked these stories because they're all animal related. I thought that would be neat. I didn't realize both of you guys were cat hating sociopaths. I don't really see myself as a cat hating sociopath so much as I am just generally opposed to little fuzzy balls of hate that have needles attached to their feet. I'm just super allergic. And if you're going to be allergic to something, it may as well be little fuzzy balls of hate with needles on their feet. Or sharks. You know I'm also allergic to Buster, right? That's why we're not friends. Holy shit. Okay, well, I guess on that actual bombshell, we're going to call this feed dump to a close. But remember, Ash and Surge are not friends. And while there may be better sources of news, they don't have this hat, which is a narwhal hat. And it was donated to us by... My friend Seg. And Cam tells me that this is not a unicorn horn, but a tooth. It makes me think, gee, if I had a single tooth growing out of the middle of my forehead, they'd make me go get plastic surgery. Oh my god, we're friends! Not after how you treated me today, we're not.